Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Um, so I wear things usually that I feel as though it will help me channel Kendall Jenner. <laughs> when really I look like Frodo Baggins Sky Double. <laughs> no. It's, true. it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Speaking of dwarfs and stunts, I was recently in Vegas. Has anyone been there before? Yeah. 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 Enthusiasm I like. <laughs> Vegas to me seems like Times Square was effed by a Kentucky Derby jockey who moonlights at Applebee's. <laughs> that's, the, that's the hybrid, right? It's America's glory hole. <laughs> and somehow I came home sans STD and embryo. <laughs> It's weird. It was just short of a miracle. Mm -hmm. I've been promiscuous in my day. There was a time in my life, over a two-week span, I slept with an Arab, a Mexican, two Greeks, and a Jew. <laughs> my vagina could have qualified for UN ambassador status. <laughs> Those are the days I like to call her Angelina. <laughs> I wonder now if Trump's military budget could have something allotted to have the Navy SEALs intervene when I'm about to sleep with someone on the first date. <laughs> oh, that would backfire and turn into an orgy, so. <laughs> I, you know, you guys, I think that I'm a slut at times because I, I want to be a mom. <laughs> and, like, my inner MTV teen mom just gets sloppy and throws it out there a lot, hoping something sticks to the universe for all ball. Well, I don't even know how it all works. That's why I'm so sloppy about it. But I really long to have, you know, a shower where I can wear a wrap dress that doubles as an art fair tent. I really want to put those cattle call numbers on onesie so I can keep track of time. And I want to have a gender reveal party. Actually, no, I take issues with those. I have issue with the gender reveal parties. I hope all these kids come out as hermaphrodites or at least gender confused. <laughs> can we graduate from the pink and blue binary color? Like, what if he comes yeah. out? Yeah. What if he comes out wanting a magenta themed quinceanera because he identifies as Latino? <laughs> Why are we pigeonholing these kids? Let them live, right? <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. I don't know, maybe all of these maternal traditions make me bitter because I'm so far from procreating. I'm constantly losing jobs and aggressively online dating. <laughs> Until recently where I got to the very sad abyss of Bumble where there was absolutely no more people to swipe. No, not, it was done. I was, I was, that, mm -hmm. it was over. <laughs> and I just kept getting the screen that says, there's no one left, invite mm -hmm. your friends if my friends want to join a polygamous group. Like, like <laughs> it was really sad, like just the, you know, the hive and the, I somehow had swiped left or given an over the pants hand job to everyone <laughs> in the mile radius between 32 and 40. I took matters into my own hands and, ex you know, extended the sentence. That's what a woman in charge does. And so I pushed it out 25 miles between 30 and 45 which means I'll end up with someone with autism who's divorced playing online poker out of his basement in Schaumburg. <laughs> something to look forward to. Oh, I can't wait. You know? Oh, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> single and broke, it's such a cliche, I try to spice it up. And I like move things around my apartment, stammering around, so it doesn't feel like a bunker, you know? <laughs> Relish in the fact that I have a blender and I dust buster because I can't afford a whole vacuum. Or masturbate to loud Eastern European porn. My place probably sounds like a cross between the Congo and Ikea. <laughs> I feel bad for my neighbors. So I hope you have some insight as to why I'm not fit to be a mom. I'll end up 40 having one of my gay friends inseminate me through bribery. <laughs> Apply for WIC coupons and hope that the tranny I give birth to is discovered by Ellen and one day headline in Vegas. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>